Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and we are back with uh, another episode of Strategic Command American Civil War. We're going into the 17th turn, the second of the year 1862 and yeah, a lot of stuff, interesting stuff going on on different fronts, so let's have a look at the replay together. In Missouri, they push a little bit more warp, interesting. I don't understand why they're so obsessed with this fort, but okay. More now the most interesting front. Okay. They even come up to our front, that's interesting. Oh, one more division here in the landing. Okay. A lot of interesting moves, uh, no really hardcore or serious breakthrough, um, yeah, but still a lot of stuff to see. Brigade destroyed, okay, that's our first one actually, so yeah. And Fort Pulaski being damaged, we've observed this one. And they take a couple of towns, one division suffers attrition losses, which is really nice, and some Apache raids. Haitian President Fabre Gevra begins sending aid to Dominican rebels. Okay, something going on over there is in Haiti as well. And yeah, some Norfolk blockade and some Confederate bandits. Nothing super special. You saw the mountain division coming in. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. President, our spies in the north are reporting back with news that President Lincoln is considering issuing an emancipation proclamation. This is something that many European officials have been calling for, and if President Lincoln issues his proclamation, it is highly likely to be detrimental to our war effort and any attempts to seek diplomatic recognition. To ensure such an effort would only look like a move of political desperation and thus deter President Lincoln from issuing his proclamation, you are strongly advised to keep at least one unit within five tiles of Washington, D.C. Counting only land taxes. Yeah, we are absolutely on this mission, and this is in our highest interest, so yeah. Okay, we get a timber clad. What, how many divisions? One, two, three, four. Five divisions. An iron river eye clad, timber clad, and our first submarine. Very, very interesting. Cool. Uh, let's have a quick look what happened. Um, yeah, a third division popped up here with zero supply, so I'm really surprised that the enemy is still feeding this front. Um, and actually our intelligence shows us there's another division on landing ships, so... Are they still also going to go here for reinforcements? That is really... I mean, I still sincerely believe we can wipe them out, and this is basically like over a thousand MPPs here, so this is a... Uh, it's keeping us from just, uh, really reinforcing these areas, but still, this is very, very costly for... <laughs> just for this kind of yeah um let's call it a decoy <laughs> move we have the attacks down here on this uh, fort yeah what else did we see so yeah they were here in missouri they were pushing forward uh, but no bigger real problems this brigade was destroyed as we expected and yeah what else Oh, yeah, in Arizona, I was really surprised that the enemy, instead of retreating a bit, they pushed even forward here to our front line, which is a little bit weird because I saw more troops, but I feel like I'm going to have the upper hand here. So, at least for the moment. So, why not? I'm happy about this movement of the enemy. And, yeah. You know the modus? I'm going to have my more intense looks and present you the strategies in a second. So, yeah. See you soon. Okay, everybody we are back and as you know we are starting in the very west in arizona so the enemy moved up here with all these troops um i'm especially interested in attacking these osaji units because yeah we have the preparation bonus which at least gives us here good prospects or oh, one one worse than expected okay nice uh let's see Okay, here's no river, so I feel like with a little bit of luck I might be able to destroy them. Oh no. I will not be able to destroy them. Or shall I send these up and be... Greedy? I kind of want to. I mean, this one cavalry guide will be sad, but like rather destroy them and because it takes them way longer or like it takes everybody 
a long time to bring troops in this area and since yeah i would assume that or can i maybe try this regiment instead i doubt uh, i kind of doubt that these this regiment has the strength to really do damage ah uh, no that's yeah, even though if we would lose this one to those uh, counterattacks, they would be still wounded. And I feel like uh, the, the brigade here is in general like not as strong as one in a native unit. So yeah, I'm happy to do the exchange. Let's try it. Ah. Okay. Okay, I had different plans here, but as we are already trying, let's... Okay, nothing happening here. That's fine for me. Mm, a little bit bad luck, but okay. So yeah, I'm saving the reinforcement costs here, but this unit is very seriously damaged and I highly recommend to the enemy to retreat it. Ah yeah, here we have the Navajo. Let's see if there's anything incoming. Oh, I still see no... <laughs> um, I would hope for the enemy that there are some troops protecting Santa Fe or Albuquerque here. Otherwise, those guys are trapped here. So, yeah. And we got the... Can it march up here to Santa Barbara? Nope. But we have the Mountain Division, the Garnet Mountain Division incoming that was supposed to be in this area. So very nice. This is the first really strong unit here. So I should be able to kind of break through here, I feel like. And with those guys, they protect the mine. That's the main task. So we won't be surprised if anything comes up here. I think this regiment I will also bring out to Ojo de Vaca and maybe one more cavalry brigade just as a, some kind of um, flank security here. Okay, so much about Arizona and New Mexico. We are getting closer to New Mexico already. Coming to Oklahoma or these, yeah, the plains now. Basically, yeah, where are we? Kansas already. Kansas, Miss West Missouri, Oklahoma. So yeah, our native troops here are kind of free. Since they cleared up these uh, things, and as I told you, I want to move up here in this area. Um, I bet I could also reinforce them to 10 this round. So my idea was I'd rather... Depends how quickly we need them. So I want to, best case, take Fort Scott as a scouting position. Very nice. So the question is, shall I already reinforce immediately? This weighty goes to... Nib no, actually, I, I'm gonna reinforce as long as we can and then bring up the full strength units the next turn up here. Uh, yeah, exactly. So much about Oklahoma for this front. Let's see, have a look at Missouri. Um, so, yeah, they kind of pushed through here to encircle us. However, <laughs> uh, the enemy, is like, so this, this brings them in their own, uh, in their own sad situation that they have zero supply, basically. So I don't mind being here and they get from whence will they get this little bit of surprise. Oh, like, just keep them here. This cavalry brigade I'm actually gonna use to have some scouting, I guess. Because I could also use... I was tempted to go in this direction, but for this turn I would love to have them here. To see what's... Uh, and there's not much going on over here. So, yep. Uh, not good supply but yeah i can i want to use this brigade to be maneuverable here in this area wainsville stays just occupied because they won't take it with their strength right now even if it's at only at supply two uh maybe those guys retreat and we can slowly think about retreating back to lebanon um yeah they get some reinforcement in by these dudes the division is best case opening up the street to davidson yeah it does um, let's just widen it a bit more. Okay, and let's see where we want the division on the long term. Okay, let's rather bring it here for the moment. Um, yeah, we'll see where we go with this one. This regiment, I just, this detachment I wanted to use for, yeah, clearing up these streets here. I doubt that there's any, anything in here. Then we got our reinforcements, the event reinforcements, the Van Dorn HQ last turn, which I'm going to do in these three brigades. And we saw that the enemy destroyed our brigade here and pushed further south. I mean, look at all these marshlands and swamps. Um, like as long as Memphis here is not really threatened and there's no big damage being dealt. Also Pocahontas is apart from the nice name, not really yeah, valuable for us. 
So this cavalry brigade as a scouting spare head goes here to yeah just protect the bridge and have a look in this area. The other dudes I'll just move up here. These ones go over here and one door moves as far up as possible. So yeah, we have this kind of southern Arkansas secured and I really feel like as long as there's no strong reinforcements incoming from the enemy, which I highly doubt for this not so precious area, these couple of minimal troops will be sufficient to cover this at least for a while. Coming back to Memphis, where we um, yeah brought our rangers last turn, and these, these heroic rangers that almost drowned in the Gulf of Mexico. So now we're gonna reinforce them back to 10, so they will be fully <laughs> available next turn, as well as this gunboat. Okay, going further east to our main other front, or oh, actually, can they attack? No. Our main other front, which is the Tennessee-Kentucky front. Um, we saw a lot of movements over here as well. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, first of all, let's see what we can do yeah, exactly and where we're going to do what. Starting maybe here in Dresden. This is like this. Sadly, they captured the Fighting Spirit objective last turn. But I took in this uh, division and Johnson and I think this should be killing it off and maybe we can even hinder these guys from coming over. So yeah, nice. Raise them down in exactly what I wanted. Bueno. So let's pack them here. And yeah, it can also supply Paduka. So next turn this one is a way better situation and these guys will not affect us here tremendously. Um, this brigade just like is still luring the attention of the boat on itself. Um, yeah, when they go, I want to reconnect. Now they're like a little bit low supply. I'm kind of happy with them actually in this very position here in the forest, a little bit protected. And I was wondering actually if I should place a, a division here because they, in, in comparison to the um, um, now where can I see? They have they have zone of control unlike the brigades which i don't know if it affects actually rivers and ships so let me know if you know that so if i position a division here or here would it stop them by passing through to would it be a good protection for the forts if so i would be highly interested in this so let me know anyways for the moment i keep this brigade just here give us gives us good uh, reconnaissance uh, and yeah it's i think still it wouldn't be destroyed by the ships and to assist it a little bit i think we have this we have a very good reconnaissance in the river here, so we will use our gunboat to attack the Timberclad, even if it has naval technology one. And but it's weakened, and yeah, let's try our best. Oh, talking about great reconnaissance, <laughs> running into an enemy, but yeah, even better, destroying the gunboat, optimal. Um, yeah, sweet. <laughs> Didn't expect this one to happen. Nice tiny success. Um, okay, let's continue i mean no i don't want to risk it i'd rather like let them entrench themselves and keep this position it's a perfect uh defensive position why would i cross here actually so there let's stay co uh like calm here and keep on attacking with the long street hq of course we want to wipe out uh, this division so we can push up here nice we won actually so Oh, but this one is very uh, less perfect. Um, so maybe we want to actually this turn. Let's kill them off. Maybe with the brigade here. And they retreat. Oh my god. Oh, which but it does serve us very well in terms of scouting, and we will turn uh, take them down over here. These ones can go over here then, just to hide in the forest a bit. Those with the not wasted attack yet will finish them off. Wonderful. And what is going to be our next position over here? Is there anything preferable? Actually, it's... Over. Hmm. Actually, let's retreat to, this li re li retreat to this little river again, so we might be able to reinforce. Uh, they don't have a prepared bonus. 
which I'm happy to grant them actually over here. Um, so we have the river crossing, and Long Street can go to Madison Will. So this is, I think, I mean, let's see if they retreat or if they stay here, because I guess this is the next target to take them out and take this uh, Ohio River shore, which probably leads me ready to, I will definitely send these ones here, up here in this area. We need further power to push. And yeah, they're getting slowly exhausted while they have fresh troops. But okay, at least partial success. This one, I don't know. They see this one, but I think they will be not able to finish it off. Um, let's see. The Rangers here will take Albany to at least take all of this. Sure. So these guys actually want to reinforce. But let's see how if we can clear up the brigade here. No. Oh. We'll take Mum's will. Oh, this brigade is defending itself splendidly. And it's... Hmm. Have them here. Let's reinforce this brigade to 8. And yeah, yeah, so there's some more resistance coming up and we're seeing more divisions in the area. So obviously the enemy is also reinforcing his uh, Kentucky front, uh, her Kentucky front. So um, yeah. And as I mentioned, I will bring these, this division up here to Hopkins Will. Kind of, we're kind of in need of another HQ again. <laughs> so it's always, yeah, HQs are very nice to have. So, okay, let's see here. Do we start to re, uh, just protect or uh, entrench or fortify this position to protect the river or shall we move them somewhere else? I mean, this would be the ultimate fallback line. In the end, I want to keep the net. Um, yeah. Oh, they took Carthage. I absolutely forgot about this. I saw a, mo a unit moving in here, which has a harbor, which is makes it easier for them. But it's just one unit, so... I think actually the engineers can withstand that. So where would be actually built? We have four uh, four hexes distance, so I would definitely, I think, try to... I hope I can build fortresses around cities in, in this, this game. So I would love to reinforce Dover, I guess. Maybe something here, and maybe on this side actually some kind of fortification line. Maybe not using the river. But yeah, I don't want them to annoy us here, so I'll bring the engineers over here just to protect uh, the street. They can't like fully go through that. Okay. Yeah, interesting. It's yeah, definitely there's some resistance <laughs> as expected. Okay, the, which leads us to the very, very east and the most interesting fronts you have all been looking for, of course. Uh, first of all, the maybe not so interesting part. Let's. I really don't know what the enemy is trying to achieve here in Fort Pulaski. Maybe just trying to see how getting experience. We'll reinforce the four. I mean, I mean they're, they're grinding it down. Worst case, we're losing it. But yeah, it's no fighting spirit objective, nor is the Vanna. However, oh, it's Charleston. Maybe they're just trying to draw our attention away. I'm also not sure. Hmm. We'll come to this back later in a second because I have some, like, for, for some funny things. <laughs> yeah. Let's go here to the uh, Virginia Val. Um, this one is moving up here, so next turn or the, the turn after we can basically replace this one and start also building uh fortifications here which this one is currently doing and coming into the invasion front so the enemy definitely brought in another as i told you another division as well another division being up here in their boats ready to come in i really don't know why the enemy likes the slaughter so much <laughs> um Oh, sad. Maybe I'm gonna... So let's use the artillery to... Attack these marines. And as you see, at least already Iris Division has zero supply. Bernie Division has zero supply. So yeah, and especially since we're gonna now take out Butler. For sure. Just wondering which unit we're using for this purpose. 
But no, Butler is more important than these Marines. They can slowly like run out of ammunition, so it's fine. Boom. So without supply, so oh, was it Butler? So yeah, actually, so goodbye, Mr. Butler. General Butler is now dead or a prisoner of war, since unlike in World War Two and World War One, in this game HQs that are being destroyed, at least the general is destroyed. But since this was even without uh, supply, you can tell it's 375 basically MPP that the enemy lost without a bonus to buy it back. This is a hard hit. And especially, I, this is kind of a fiasco from my point of view for the enemy. I don't know, still holding us back. It was maybe not such a bad, not a bad intention. However, the execution, eh, yeah. So let's keep on going. We have the supply less troops here. We used the prepared attack to uh, also destroy this one. Beautiful. And we can move actually now the artillery a bit up. This one can occupy Fredericksburg in this case. Um, you go and take Tappahannock. So yeah. I wonder if, if the enemy really throws in the other division or if it goes somewhere else. But as one division alone without the further support of... I mean, this was a, uh, in the long term. This could have been a strong force. And as I said last turn, deployed here or somewhere else, it could have definitely established themselves a good landing uh, beachhead. But yeah, this one is not enough. I'm sorry. And so um, we're going to take them out. This division I slowly bring over here because I'm a little bit worried in the that the enemy is pushing now showing signs of pushing here in this region, so I need reinforcements. But I need to reinforce it anyway, so and all these divisions just can move up, I guess. Yeah, let's already attack them down, grind them slowly down now. That frees up our troops. Yeah, <laughs> sad development for the enemy, I guess. But yeah, it's really great for us. And I think with the capacities of the landing, there won't be any more for the moment, at least for some time. So I don't expect other landings for the time being. However, since the enemy is learning a lot, I'm quite sure that uh, the enemy will, will take learn his lessons from this. As I will still call it a fiasco. Since, yeah, this is basically 1,500 MPPs that the enemy lost, uh, is going to lose in this area. Uh, I don't know, maybe they will retreat again. We can't really take them down right now. And But yeah, with the lessons being learned, there will be more effective landings in the future. So I'm a little bit scared of this. Okay. Which leads us to the Potomac front. This time the enemy had to regenerate as well, but in, uh, strengthened her position here with the division on the other side with full strength. Um, I was very much tempted to just stay defensively and reinforce myself. However, um, I see that with John's, uh, Jackson's 50% bonus, the, even the brigades seem to deal two damage to the division. So it's too tempting to not take this uh, invitation or like an invitation just to like take this deal, especially since, yeah, reinforcements at these two divisions can join in soon so yeah i am not worrying too much about this so let's move johnson over here so we can shuffle in this brigade for him uh for these oh no oh okay i wanted to exchange them and reinforce in the second row which is also okay whatever these ones i'm definitely bringing up to 10 as well as these three um, but these are ones I still want to attack. Oh, two, three, not that great, but yeah. Oh, two, three again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, at least this division is damaged. I don't know if they can break through at Alexandria now. It was a little bit of a risky move. I could have just reinforced, but as I said, with the missing punch that basically these divisions would provide, and yeah, I doubt an end hour reinforcements being quite close now. I'm very uh, optimistic to be able to retake or to be aggressive, especially with Jackson here, to re uh, be aggressive and retake the uh, left or the, the southern shore of the Potomac very soon. So even if this is a short-term drawback, this is going to be okay. So, so much about... Is there any bigger change due to the movement of the HQ? So that's fine. So 
so yeah this is good uh coming to western virginia no big change here so this regiment stays here and protects the bridge they moved a little bit more up north they could have gone here so i'm using the moment to resupply this brigade to 10. it's meant to basically protect this and the enemy got definitely yeah it's it's the, the interesting part here are these mines so they try uh decided to chase us but as i told you the situation is very bad in terms of supply and i guess there's no hq in the area so actually this cavalry division ran to zero supply and is therefore super weak can only move basically one hex next turn so probably they retreat and we can use this wonderful offer to deal uh two damage without any cost with our smaller unit so this was a nice deal and we they will they will have to retreat they can't push up otherwise they're gonna lose and lose and then destroy them however with these troops also here i definitely need to also put more a little bit more protective troops on the long term here which uh, i'm going to do but for now i'm just securing the bridge because they can only move once they will not be able to go here to our valuable mines and so on and with these ex with this exchange here i'm really yeah happy to take brigades over here to secure the Appalachians as well as this division even if it's only on three I will take it somewhere here reinforce it and have at least yeah a division also in the Shenandoah Valley and remember I also ordered two cavalry division as a divisions as a learning from the last turn that I want to place probably one in reserve here and one over here or here like or here Fredericksburg and Woodstock so we have quick reaction forces with the cavalry okay interesting so that's kind of i think it in terms of fights and map changes there's nothing bigger going on we of course do have our new units that i wanted to bring down let's have a look the river timberclad we do have this one a little bit exposed um, we have an ironclad and a timberclad and i consider I mean, this is the more important river, the Mississippi, up here, the mainstream. So I think I put the Timberclad down in Nashville and the Ironclad down here at the moment. No, we can't merge them because we don't control Cairo. But yeah, this is how I'm gonna set them up. Do this first, actually. Ironclad here. And we have these five divisions. And then, let's before we do the divisions, let's start off with the submarine. And I'm a little bit... I was kind of tempted to put it down in Savannah. I don't know. Maybe to ch check it out against the enemy's frigates. However, um, I, I don't want to ex uh, reveal myself so fast. And Savannah actually is a, a supply base, but no fighting spirits objective. So even if they take Savannah, no big harm done so far. I mean, they, I would need to build up some defense here in, in Georgia, of course. But same in Jacksonville. So... I don't know to i kind of want to lay traps with these submarines so to protect charleston in this case which is a fighting spirit object objective and industrial that could have been taken out easily i'm gonna place the submarine here and see actually we have to probably level it up a bit in the harbor so i could have done this before but okay um i just checked i cannot buy submarines at the moment it requires apparently research I don't know um, we are researching it we have it on one already if you remember and it's going to be in two very soon when this happens how much do they cost actually 95 i'm planning definitely to let's see how much production limit we get to buy some a couple more so in best case i would have plenty of them to protect every kind of harbor but i think the production limit doesn't allow for it yeah let's see it's going to be an interesting experiment so we have five divisions left to uh, lay down and yeah i mean it's obvious where they're kind of going so we have just the the, the question is how we're going to split them up and i feel like we've invested more in the virginia front so i will put down two divisions actually in virginia and the other three in the kentucky yeah, we should. This is like almost an army that we can... Yeah, this is quite massive what we're bringing down here. Let's bring Herbert down here. Or Field Division. Just the names, don't you worry. Um, yeah. This will be of great help here. And this 
since here is still the mobility going on and we have the initiative in, in like in virginia even though we're having great success in pushing back the invasion but with the critical situation or like not critical but questionable situation at the potomac um i'm a little bit not in the initiative i would say and here we can keep on going and pushing which is nice and to do so i'm happy to provide this area with more division reinforcements that can be used over here maybe i'm actually going to move also johnson over here because when once this is cleared up do we want the green division maybe for this side or for this front we could set it up here but we can also come from this side so yeah Let's just decide. It depends a little bit on the from Nashville. It's very close. All the things, and I think this is the, this one we got the Vandor and stuff. Okay, okay. So we set up all our troops. Which diplomacy? We have full resources. Full. Nothing new on this side. So we can go to the purchase phase, which I'm gonna use for one more um, cavalry division. As I told you, I really enjoy. Uh, I think I'm missing first of all the scouting capabilities as well as the flexibility here. The two are uh, already designated for this area. I'm not sure if the third one also goes here or if I will reinforce with a cavalry division because we don't have the cavalry divisions here as well where they could be very useful. So I'm gonna buy one cavalry division. One more um, normal division. And actually... I had a little bit different plans because I planned to reinforce other troops, for example, in Arizona that we didn't in the end. So I have more MPPs left over when I wanted to buy another division, but actually we're going for another cavalry division. So we have basically, we I want two divisions here and two divisions here to support our forces. And yeah, I think this is a good use. It was, and I think maybe we're gonna switch. We have, we can buy four more regular divisions at the moment, so probably two more cavalry divisions. Then we had the build limit actually, so probably I'm gonna switch a little bit more to normal divisions now after we got these four cavalries uh, in May and June, and yeah, but I wanted them so to have the scout, especially the scouting and the flexibility is really important for us. And here I'm probably gonna rely mostly on the native troops. Maybe we're gonna also put some more and the cavalry given here already. And this division. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. So that was March 1862. Then let's quickly end the turn together. So I won't forget this. I won't forget this time. Uh, construction were completed on the CSS Virginia. Oh, I'm getting my monitor. Cool. But the animes probably also get their monitor. Okay, confronted bushwalkers. As always. Bandits. The Norfolk blockade as always. Oh, we have a... Oh, that's really nice. We have the diplomatic success with the UK with the only one shit, which probably makes the enemy think we're investing in UK. <laughs> and I can go full on France, maybe. But, but we'll see. And yeah, some convoy, but they not so many anymore. Maybe they use their like, ships for the other bombardments. A skirmish is fought at Stanwick Station at the California Column continues its march, march east. Oh, so Californians are coming already to uh, the other place. Le Miserable Victor Hugo's epic historical novel is published. Okay. Did read it. Uh, production technology does a new jump already. Sweet. And we take our MPP income. Okay, guys. Um, so much about the second turn of 1862. As you see, things are not getting, getting less interesting. And I'm already looking forward to the next turn. I hope you're with me. So, yeah. Uh, leave me a like and subscription. And let me know what you think. And then uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Your strategy wolf.